Hey, how you doing? This is Ben Stubbs of FlamencoForYou.com and the Flamenco Guitar Podcast. In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you two uh, really important exercises for arpeggio. So let's get started right now. Uh, first things first, when you get set up on the guitar, is we're going to call it just that, getting set up on the guitar. What does that entail? It entails your thumb resting on the E string and your I, M, and A fingers um, lining up on the treble strings. Okay, So that way, you're predisposed to going ahead and starting your arpeggio. So we have the first cycle is going to be P, I, M, A, followed by A, M, I. Okay, so that's the first cycle. P, I, M, A, A, M, I. That's one cycle. The number two cycle is P, A, M, I. Once again, that's P, A, M, I. Now this is done, like I said, with your fingers set up on the strings already. Okay, they're already there. They're ready to go. All you have to do is release them from the strings. This is not uh, apoyando. This is not picado. So you're not resting these uh, strokes on the next string, like that. What you're doing is your free stroke, tirando. And I'll get another angle there uh, shortly uh, so you can see exactly how that's done. One really important point for these exercises is to use a metronome. So start out at a comfortable pace uh, using eighth notes in three-fourth time. Uh, I like to start out using 164 beats per minute, and you can surely start uh, faster than that, or definitely slower than that, okay? Because we're just getting started here. And you want to warm up on the guitar uh, doing these arpeggios uh, before you have a piece that has arpeggios in it. Because if you start the piece, uh, you're going to... You're going to be frustrated, quite frankly, no matter how many years you've been playing. This kind of thing requires warm-up, these arpeggios, okay? Exercise number one. We start with an E major chord, okay? And now here is the pattern on the right hand. We have P, I, M, A, A, M, I. That's your first cycle. Notice that my P, pulgar, is resting on the A string right after I strike the E string, okay? And then next, as I strike the A string, notice how I rest my thumb once again on the D string. Okay. Now next, when I strike the D string with the thumb, that's tirando. Okay. Now I'm not resting it on G. I'm just simply striking it and then returning it back. So on the right hand cycle, what does it look like in practice? We have. Okay. We've done our one cycle and we've rested our thumb on the A string right after we strike the, the, the sixth string, okay? And it sits there, and it helps us stabilize our hand as we're doing our arpeggio. Then we strike the A string, and we rest it once again on the D string this time, and we run through our cycle, and then next we strike the D string, tirando, and it's not resting on the G string. Okay. We don't have as much stabilization there because we don't have our thumb resting and keeping our hand put in one place. But what we are doing is we're holding our hand as steadily as possible. And we return back to our A string. So now the cycle number two, P, A, M, I. All right. So I've struck sixth string, fifth string, fourth string, back down to the um, fifth string. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm basically cycling through these bass strings with my thumb. Six, five, four, five, right? Right? Then we move up and we maintain that shape of the E major where, the, where like an F would be. We have these ringing B and E strings. And then we move up to this next chord right here where our second finger is on the uh, fourth fret rather and third finger is on the fourth fret as well. Okay, um, respectively on the fifth and fourth string. Our first finger is on the third fret of the G string. Kind of a wild sounding chord.
next we move up half a step once again and you'd think that we would head up half a step again but we don't just because that chord it sounds blah we can't really do anything with it so we just skip that fret and we go up here where our second and third fingers are on the seventh fret so we have a nice chord right there So now let's give it a try with our metronome. I've got mine set to 165. Let's give it a try. One, two, three, and. Now this is good to do with a metronome so that your fingers don't go taking off on you. Exercise number two. Okay, so we started out last time, I showed you with the E major chord. Now this time, instead of going half a step up, maintaining the shape, we're going to be doing an F chord, and we're going to continue all the way up chromatically uh, to B. All right, let's give it a try. So exercise number two. This is gonna be using bar chord, sahia, all the way up to the key of B. So we're going to have to hold on tight to the guitar neck for quite a while. And because of that, I wanted to, to give you a progress tracker sheet in your tablature and standard notation that you can get at patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you. That's the number four letter U. You already know that. But anyhow, you start off with your E major chord. You follow the same pattern that you did before with exercise number one. And you do your, uh, your bar chord. And on that chart, you're going to see how you can track your progress. How long do you go until you have group muscle failure in your hand and you can't do it anymore? You've got to stretch, got to take a break. And you're going to also record the um, beats per minute that you did during that practice session. You're going to have a good time. So anyhow, we've gone to the F major chord. And then F sharp. Now you might be feeling the burn. And so now I'm gonna set my metronome once again to 165 beats per minute and keep keep a note of where on the fretboard your hand starts giving out. And also on the right hand where your hand starts kind of cramping and misfiring, you know? find this pretty difficult when uh, you have a classical guitar that has a higher um, action because flamenco guitars have a lower action almost there Okay, well that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed these two exercises for the flamenco guitar arpeggios. Once again, if you don't have these tabs or and you want them and you want the progress tracker so you can stay uh, um, afloat of your progress, you know, as a flamenco guitar player or an aspiring one, go head on over once again to patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you and get them today. Take care. We'll see ya.